Welcome back! I'm some guy you've never heard of, and this is Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, the Epic of Fen of Clan Vizsla. So, um, looks like our friends have leveled. Yeah? Alright, mission. Let's take care of this. Skills. What's up your demolitions, your stealth, your security. And I know it's cross-class, but let's keep working on that computer use. Oh, you got sneak attack four. Cool. Alright, Salbar, you get to level as well. Yeah, let's keep working on that awareness. You might as well keep working on your repair as well. Oh, you get a feat. That's cool. Oh, you got un Uncanny Dodge too. Good for you. Yeah, let's get you toughness, Salvar. There we go. Nice. What? Alright, so we cleared up all the bounties on this planet. No, I think we're good. Uh, let's go talk to, what was his name, Candorus? I figured you'd be back. Neither of us is getting off this planet unless we work together. Now, I know the Sith military base had a break-in, and I know it was you. I know you've got those departure codes I need, so what do you say? We join forces, and I can get you inside Dalek's base, and right to the Ebon Hall. We can go right now. Okay, let's join up, but how are we going to get in... How are we going to get me inside Davik's estate? Davik's always looking to recruit new talent. I'll tell him how you won that swoop race. Mention that you're interested in working for the exchange. I'll say I brought you in so he could check you out. He'll have you stay at his estate for a couple of days while he runs some background checks on you. That's standard procedure. While Davik's checking you out, we steal the Ebon Hawk and escape Taurus. Come on, I've got an airspeeder nearby to take us to Davik's estate. The sooner we're off Taras, the better. Alright, Kandrus has joined your party. Kandrus has a special cybernetic implant that regenerates minor wounds. Oh, nice. Left click this response to go to the party selection screen. Hmm. 
Now let's keep mission. Okay. Summon me, Lord Malik. The search for Bastila is taking too long. We cannot risk her escaping Taras. Destroy the entire planet. The, the entire planet, Lord Malik. But there are billions of people on Taras. We'd be slaughtering countless innocent civilians, not to mention our own men still on the surface. Your predecessor once made the mistake of questioning my orders, Admiral. Surely you are not so foolish as to make the same mistake. Of, of course not, my Lord Malik. I will do as you command, but it will take several hours to position our fleet. Then I suggest you begin immediately. You are dismissed, Admiral. Yes, Lord Mount. So, Candorus, I see you've brought someone with you. Most intriguing, if I do say so myself. You usually travel alone. It's not like you to take on partners, Candorus. You're getting soft. Watch yourself, Gallo. You may be the newest calf hound in the pack. You aren't top dog yet. Enough. I won't have my top two men killing each other. That's not good business. I'm sure Candorus has an explanation as to why he's not working solo anymore. This is a special case, Davak. I ran into someone the Exchange might want to recruit. You may have heard something of their exploits already. Ah, yes. Now I recognize your companion. The rider who won the big swoop race. Very impressive, as was your display in the rather heated battle afterwards. Good to finally meet you, Davik. My you name's know, Sven Wiesla. Was right. The Exchange is always looking for new talent. You could have a bright future with our organization. With a recommendation from Candorus and a thorough background check, you could become part of the Exchange. Many would kill to prove themselves worthy of this honor. Your offer intrigues me, Davik. Come with me. I will give you a tour of my operations. I'm certain you'll be most impressed. Ah, there she is. The Ebonhawk. My pride and joy. The fastest ship in the Outer Rim. Note the state-of-the-art security system I've had installed to protect her. The shields are completely impregnable. Nobody can get past them without the codes to try and steal my baby. Unfortunately, the Sith military blockade has grounded my vessel. The Ebonhawk can outrun any vessel in the galaxy. But even she isn't fast enough to avoid the auto-targeting laser cannons of the orbiting Sith fleet. I am, of course, working on acquiring the Sith departure codes so that I may come and go as I please. However, progress has been slow. But we should continue our tour. These'll be your accommodations. The slave quarters are just down the hall. If you need anything during your stay, food, a massage, feel free to call upon their services. If all goes well with your background check, you will be invited to join the exchange. I'd advise you to accept the offer when it comes. Or suffer the dire consequences of refusal. I'm looking forward to working with you, Davik. You will stay in these rooms as my guest for the next few days. I will not accept no for an answer. Feel free to visit the slave quarters at any time during your stay. I must warn you that if you are found anywhere outside the guest wing during your stay, or if you bother my other guests, my security forces will deal with you most harshly. 
I will return after the investigation into your background is complete. Until then, make yourself comfortable. Come, Callow. Let us leave our guests in peace. Okay, we're inside. Now all we have to do is figure out a way to get past the Ebon Hawk's security system, and we can get the rest of your group off this planet. No sense waiting around here, though. The sooner we get off Taurus, the better. All right. Let's have a look around then. Oh, and apparently you can level. Yeah. You're a soldier like me. Um. Yeah, why don't you go ahead and work on your demolitions? you got already. You've got weapon proficiency, happy weapons, weapon focus, and weapon specialization. All in heavy weapons. Cool. Toughness. Good shot. Improve power blast. Boom! <clears throat> Yeah, improved toughness it is. And a gear you got. Clothing? You're just using clothing. That's not right. Oh, you have another level? Good for you. Um, let's up that demolition some more. Oh, and another feat. Yeah, let's get you, um, improved rapid shot. Yes?
Apparently this isn't still the guest wing. I kind of figured the not locked doors to be the places I could go. Alrighty. wasn't planning on attacking people yet, but that seems to be where we are now. Mission a hand. Oh, I kind of wish Basla was here. Much rather get four sealed than uh, use uh, what you call it. Don't really have enough computer spikes to do sure. anything. Oh, I've gained a level. Oh, I get an attribute. That's pretty cool. Strength or charisma? I think I'll go with charisma. Can't up my persuade again until next level. I want to get a new feat. Right, master empathy it is. Good shooting team. Apparently we're just fighting our way through Davik's uh, stronghold. Mission, you know what to do. Getting rusty mission. Yes. There's some more computer spikes.
Use that computer pass card over here. Well, that gets us into the system without using computer spikes. So with a few more, we should be able to disable hangar security. this another go Alright, mission. Um, yeah, let's get you leveled. Let's get you leveled to Zalbar. No, let's work on, let's do your awareness and your repair. Yeah, let's get you toughness.
Yeah, I think I'm definitely gonna have to take uh, G3, right? Yeah. Really wish I didn't have to take Candorous for that. How can I help? Oh, can I never mind. Move on? Sorry, I thought we could talk about this. Um. Yes. Hey, Curse. Um, I'd like to continue our discussion from before. I thought I said I don't want to talk about it anymore. Don't you think you'd feel better if you discussed it? Not particularly. I. I guess it wouldn't hurt exactly either, though I, I, I don't know why you're so interested. When I think of all the men who betrayed us, the one that stands out above all of them is the one that I respected the most, Saul. That name With sounds familiar. Reason. Admiral Saul Carath is the commander of the entire Sith fleet. He's half the reason Malak has done so well in the war. Saul was my commanding officer back when the Mandalorian Wars first began. He taught me everything about being a soldier. I looked up to him. Saul approached me before he left. He talked to me about how the Republic was on the losing side and about how I should start thinking of my survival. I know now that he was trying to recruit me into the Sith, but I couldn't have conceived of it back then. I, I argued with him and he got angry and he left. I never saw him again. You didn't think he would betray the Republic? Saul was my mentor. He led us to so many victories against the Mandalorian. Even when things looked to be at their worst, I just, I couldn't conceive of it. He, he couldn't be serious. I was wrong, of course. He not only left us for the Sith, he, he gave them the codes to bypass our scanners. I remember waking up as the first of the Sith bombers snuck past our defenses and began destroying half of our dock ships. I knew right away what had happened. I mean, I could have stopped him. I, I could have stopped it all. But you blame yourself for trusting your friends. I blame Saul, not myself. I was I was stupid and I ignored the danger. He nearly destroyed us all. No, I fought Saul for years now, and if I ever catch up to him, he will regret what he's done. He will regret it. Yeah, I do the same thing in your shoes. Well, there's more to the story, I guess. But I don't want to talk about it right now. Let's go. All right, Carth. You know, we really should get you into therapy. I don't know why I feel the need to play therapist to you, but, uh... That's not really part of my training. T3, let's go find Laram. Back again? So what can I do for you? You want to see what I have in stock? Yeah, obviously, Laram. Why else would I be here? No problem. Just step on up and have a peek. Alright, thanks, Laram. Alright, T3, we're gonna go meet up with uh, Candorus. I figured you'd be back. 
Neither of us is getting off this planet unless we work together. Now, I know the Sith military base had a break in, and I know it was you. I know you've got those departure codes I need, so what do you say? We join forces, and I can get you inside Dalek's base, and right to the Ebon Hall. We can go right now. All right, let's join up. But how are we going to get me inside Davik's estate? Davik's always looking to recruit new talent. I'll tell him how you won that swoop race and mention that you're interested in working for the exchange. I'll say I brought you in so he could check you out. He'll have you stay at his estate for a couple of days while he runs some background checks on you. That's standard procedure. While Davik's checking you out, we steal the Ebon Hawk and escape Taurus. Come on, I've got an airspeeder nearby to take us to Davik's estate. The sooner we're off Taurus, the better. All right. Yeah, I'm just going to skip through the cutscenes that I can that we've already seen. You summon oh. me, Lord Malak. Apparently I can't Search skip through this one. Is taking too long. We cannot risk her escaping Taras. Destroy the entire planet. The, the entire planet, Lord Malak. But there are billions of people on Taras. We'd be slaughtering countless innocent civilians, not to mention our own men still on the surface. Your predecessor once made the mistake of questioning my orders, Admiral. Surely you are not so foolish as to make the same mistake. Of, of course not, my Lord Malik. I will do as you command, but it will take several hours to position our fleet. Then I suggest you begin immediately. You are dismissed, Admiral. Yes, Lord Malik. So, Candorus, I see you've brought someone with you. Most intriguing, if I do say so myself. You usually travel alone. It's not like you to take on partners, Candorus. You're getting soft. Watch yourself, Gallo. You may be the newest cat hound in the pack. But you aren't top dog yet. Enough. I won't have my top two men killing each other. That's not good business. I'm sure Candorus has an explanation as to why he's not working solo anymore. This is a special case, Dalek. I ran into someone the Exchange might want to recruit. You may have heard something of their exploits already. Ah, yes. Now I recognize your companion. The rider who won the big swoop race. Very impressive, as was your display in the rather heated battle afterwards. I didn't know you were a swoop fan. A casual fan at best, but everyone on Taurus follows the big season opener. But we have more important issues to discuss now. With the recommendation from Candorus and a thorough background check, you could become part of the exchange. Many would kill to prove themselves worthy of this honor. Your offer intrigues me, Davik. Come with me. I will give you a tour of my operations. I'm certain you'll be most impressed. Ah, there's the shield, the ebon... I am... These'll be your... If all... I'm looking forward to working with you, Davik. You will stay in these rooms as my guest for the next few days. I will not accept no for an answer. Feel free to visit the slave quarters at any time during your stay. I must warn you that if you are found anywhere outside the guest wing during your stay, or if you bother my other guests, my security forces will deal with you most harshly. I will return after the investigation into your background is complete. Until then, make yourself comfortable. Come, Callo. Let us leave our guests in peace. Hey, could you maybe tell me um, what counts as the guest wing so I don't accidentally wander? Okay, we're inside. Now all we have to do is figure out a way to get past the Ebon Hawk security system, and we can get the rest of your group off this planet. No sense waiting around here, though. The sooner we get off Taurus, the better.
guessing this is still the gust wing. Well, these are the slave quarters, right? Welcome to the slave quarters, master. Here we have succulent fruits and berries to tempt your palate, as well as luxurious baths to soothe your aches and pains. <laughs> now this is my kind of place. Would you like a relaxing massage? Whatever your desire, we are here to serve. I might need some information. But what could I possibly tell you? It is forbidden for slaves to leave this room on pain of torture and death. Um, tell me what I want to know and I'll tell Davik how pleased I was with your performance. Praise from the guest is a valuable commodity here. Davik rewards the slaves who perform their duties well. I will tell you what I know. Davik rarely lets us leave the slave quarters. We only know what we hear from Davik's guests. Recently, they've all been talking about poor Hudro. He was caught trying to steal some spice from the lab. Normally, Hudro is allowed to get away with things like that because he's Davik's personal pilot for the Even Hawk. But since the Sith have grounded every ship on the planet, Hudro doesn't get any more special treatment. They've locked him up in Davik's torture chambers. Yeah. Um, can you tell me where the torture chambers are? I think you can get there through the hall behind the west door of Davik's throne room. Just keep going west from the slave quarters and you'll see the throne room. But Davik's certain to have guards patrolling the area. If you leave the guest wing, they'll shoot you on sight. Please, I don't know anything else. Well then, uh, I'd love a massage right now. As you wish, Master. You will find this most relaxing. If you would come with me into the massage room at the back. I trust you are satisfied with the service. I have received many compliments on my skills from previous clients. Um, it was everything I ever dreamed. Uh, you are truly an expert in your craft. Thank you, kind sir. I hope you will express your appreciation to Davik. He often rewards those slaves who perform their duties well. Is there anything else you require? Uh, nope. That's it. I'll be going now. Thank you very much. I'll make sure to tell Davik how um, accommodating you were. Of course. Return whenever you wish to partake of what is offered here. We exist only to serve you. Welcome to the slave quarters, Master. Here we have succulent fruits and berries to tempt your palate, as well as luxurious baths to soothe your aches and pains. <laughs> now this is my kind of place. Would you like a relaxing massage? Whatever your desire, we are here to serve. Uh, no, I'm good. Um... The other lady over there already took care of me. Thank you. I'll be going now. Of course. Return whenever you wish to partake of what is offered here. We exist only to serve you. Man, I would love a bath right now. Yeah. All right, let's level you up, Candorous. Let's get those uh, demolitions up. Let's get you improved toughness.
And let's get you improved rapid shot. Yes? West of the throne. I'm assuming this is the throne room. Good job, team. Hey, um, guys, let's just leave those. Go with my charisma. Save my skill point. And get master empathy. Thank you! You have no idea what it was like in that torture cage. I don't know how much more I could take before going mad. So now that you so now that you're free, there's a matter of a reward. I used to be the pilot of the Ebonhawk, Davik's flagship. I know the codes to disable the security system protecting it. I'll load them onto your data pad now. You can use those codes to steal the Ebonhawk right out of its hangar. Sell it to the highest bidder, ransom it back to Davik. Whatever you do, you'll make thousands. You'd better come up with more of a reward if you want to walk out of here alive. What? But I, I don't have anything else. Those Ebonhawk codes are worth a fortune. 
Isn't that enough? Please, just let me go. Yeah, you might warn the guards. I better just kill you. You coarse slime. I didn't survive through all that torture just to let you kill me. Yeah, you did. No, you survived all that torture to give me the codes I need. Here. Well, that was pathetic. T3, do your thing. But before you do, that will be it for today. Thank you for tuning in. This has been Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, the epic of Fen of Clan Vizsla, and I am some guy you've never heard of, unless of course you have. <laughs>